KFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update and a slightly mixed bag out there. That mix is only coming from the semis. They're up 21 points. Otherwise, the other U.S. indices are trading to the upside. You've got the Dow up 172, S&P's up 11, NASDAQ 7, Russell's up 29. Big move there. Um, You've got gold down four bucks. Silver's off thirty nine cents, one and seven tenths percent for it. Natural gas up eleven pennies. Light speed crude is up a buck thirty two in a thirty year treasury. Printed out one twenty and a quarter. That's up uh, a quarter of a uh, well twenty five uh, pips out here. Let's go take a look at the uh, nine panel market update chart. We begin the upper left hand corner. The ES mini. Of course, I don't need to tell you we're at new all time highs. The ES mini has a small A to B equals CD pattern. It's got actually several of them. The smaller, the conservative A to B. Equal CD pattern gets us up into the 49, 44 level. We do notice that retracement a little bit less than a 0.618 uh, level. So perhaps the price heights of the target range is between 49, 44 and 50, 10. We go take a look at the spot volatilix. That is going to be a likely outcome. That price projection, as long as the spot volatilix remains below its 50 day exponential moving average. The 50 day print at 1370. Right now we're printed out at 1360. The uh, NQ, it also has a, it's also at a new all time high. It has an A to B equals CD pattern, but it also has a Rhodes Mintum indicator signal. Now, if this were the close, this is very close to a bearish shooting star candle. That would actually confirm a top. So, what you want to be on the lookout for today for the NQ, in fact, for the ES as well, would be any kind of bearish reversal candle. In fact, right now in the ES Mini, that is looking like a bearish shooting star. It doesn't matter what it looks like at 1101. It matters what it looks like at the close tonight at 5 p.m. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it has formed a new profile that is below price that is a bullish message. But we can see that price has found all kind of resistance at descending trend lines. A uh, price might be pulling back to test the top of that profile, 102.61. If it does pull back to test the top of that profile, we should see some kind of rally inside of gold. We should see some kind of rally inside of silver. I say we should see, but right now you've got the U.S. dollar index trading slightly lower, and so too is gold and silver. Silver right now is taking out its TD9 count bottom at 2263. So a close below 2263 is going to suggest at least 2134. That's its one to one price projection of its A to B equals CD to the downside. Late speed crude, a nice rally running into trend line resistance. You've got uh, Twitch switched over to the March contract for natural gas. It's testing a TD9 count bottom, a prior swing point bottom out there in the 2.09 level. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed show, if you will. But if you're starting your Monday, have a magnificent one. Thanks so much for uh, tuning in, and we'll look forward to speaking with you again. Take care now.